All right, here we are, guys, back for a golf class tutorial, hole number one, par four here. And this is my first look at this hole. Here you can see we're getting a tailwind. So I'm kind of interested to seeing, you know, what I want to try to do here. It looks like there's probably a couple different ways we can do it. We can do it with a hop. Um, similarly, I might be able to switch to Apocalypse, especially with a five, and I might actually be able to carry it to the other side. So let's just see how this works out. Um, you know, it might be advantageous to kind of play your opponent more so than anything here. So depending on how they do, and if you think they can get the eagle, it might kind of dictate what you want to do. Um, especially since I do have a uh, POC 5. So let's see how this looks. Looks like they're in the sand. So one of the things that I can try to do is I could potentially, you know, go for the eagle here and try to win this thing outright. And just kind of look at kind of the best option to do that. So let me at least take a look at a berserker, see what it looks like. Looks like I might just be just a tiny bit short. So it might make a little bit more sense to go back and do this as a hop shot here. Kind of with as much, as much curl as I can. I'm kind of thinking somewhere out towards here, about six rings out, most of my power. <clears throat> I'm trying to get as aggressive towards the right edge as I can in order to get this up by the green. So if I can get it up here close enough, for instance, and the only thing that you can see that I'm kind of lacking is just a little bit of curl. So another thing I could have done is I could have swatched, sw uh, swapped to the apocalypse, but had I done that, the, the only thing that you have to be considering is you won't be able to top spin it as much. So I had, you know, a good probably 20, so I would have been basically landing about the same spot with more curl, uh, or alternatively, I would have been giving up some of my top spin to, do, to get more curl. So it's kind of like a trade-off there, um, thinking about what that I would have liked to have done. But let's take a look here. Um, there should be good opportunity for me to be able to make this pitch. It looks like uh, my opponent had maybe just a slightly better angle, especially with this wind. Mine's going to be a little bit more of a crosswind, um, but I am in here relatively tight. It should be under uh, under half a club, so I would assume that I could make this uh, a fairly good percentage of the time. So here's about half club, which I usually play about two per ring. Is this uphill or downhill? So. You know, two, I'm kind of thinking two per ring, somewhere in that neighborhood. So if, if for instance, you know, I'm thinking somewhere between four and five rings. So we're at about here. And you can see it's barely outside the hole. So I got my perfect. And I'm able to uh, pop this in for the eagle. Um, so you can see, you know, getting up here, giving yourself a chance, um, you know, definitely is what it's going to be about. Uh, if you can get an eagle on that hole, you might be able to uh, win out, outright as opposed to needing to go to the shootout. So, you know, good luck there, guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next hole.